I'm Zachary Fowler and Go Prepared Survival and Drop Forge put together a survival kit and they sent it to me to test it out. So we're going to test it out Bear grill style. Oh, this is cold. Ah! Wow, that's cold. Ah, 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 ah. 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 We gotta get to where we can find some sticks and start a fire here and uh, pop this kid open and get warm. Oh man. Cold. All right, get in close. Get it set up. Set it so it's good. It's good to stay. All right. Oh my God. Your strips. Did not feel my fingers at all. Alright, these are sear strips and they're like waxed stuff for catch catching fire. So we got one of them. Oh wow, it's cold. Another fire starter in here. Oh. There, wow, look at that. All right, cotton ball. Try not to get this wet. This is gonna be the key to getting the fire going. You can work the sear strips. You could totally work your sear strips into something you can light on their own, but the cotton ball makes it go so much quicker. So we're gonna fluff them up and get a spark on that. All right, just throwing everything everywhere. All right, what we got? Fire starter, whew. Hopefully I can work this with my frozen hands. Right now I have about elbows down. This little piece of rope that's on there is a pain in the neck. Go. Go see your strip. Go see your strip. Go. 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 All right. Oh, that's the worst pile of kindling link I've ever worked up. Ever. Need some better stuff. Need some better stuff. At this point, I could see my hands doing stuff, but I can't feel a single thing in my hands until I snapped the twigs. And when I started snapping twigs, even the tiniest twig feels like a whip crack across your knuckles every single time, every little twig. I'm gonna go over a second sear strip just to really get this stuff going. Get all my kit out of the way. Whew. Oh, there we go. Warm the hands up a little. There we go. Two sear strips. That's the way to win when you're really cold. Huh. This has got to be the messiest fire I've ever built. My brain is starting to join my hands in the numbness and it's just a, a mental effort 
to continue to do this and continue to, to push on and think about the next step and make sure I get that going so I can warm up. What else we got in here to help me warm up? Whew. Nice hot chocolate. Be good. Right about now. I got a survival blanket. I'll get this out. At this point, I really started to struggle. The fatigue of the whole thing just came over me like a flush. I was looking at the camera. I had no idea what was on the display, what was going on. I, I started feeling tipsy, like I was gonna fall over or something. And uh, I, I just didn't know what was going on in my head. And then I refocused a little bit and managed to set the rest of the camera up and go sit down. But, uh, and then right here, I'm just like, it hits me again, another flush, another wave of like nausea, almost like I was gonna throw up. That passed, but then I felt like this tiredness settling into me, bone deep, that made me feel like I wanted to lay down and go to sleep, but I had to keep going. Fire is going. I gotta see what else I got in the kit here to put me, warm me up. Who's the wet hat? Wet shoes. At this point I was so cold I was actually feeling warmer and took off my vest, which is a total mistake and uh, would, would be very bad if I wasn't getting out the survival blanket and warming up by the fire. Check that camera, see if it's recording. Red light to the lawn. All right, get this one and get that angle changed so it's getting me more. And... I'm struggling cognitively at this point as well. I hear my words coming out of my mouth as if I've been drinking or something and uh, I'm trying to get this blanket apart in a thing. I, and then I spare a little thought for my hair for some reason and uh, tried to fix that, thinking about looking good on camera. But that blanket is so hard to get apart. I recommend actually taking the thing apart, opening it up and then rolling it back up again or something when you keep it in your kit. Because if you're using it in an emergency situation, it takes a lot of work to unroll it. That's nice. This blanket is huge. And man, that just captures that heat and just channels it right in. Look at the steam just coming off of me. They warm up. All right, so this is just a quick test of the kit. I'll go over some more of the items in just a second. But if you want to see an extensive review of Chris's survival kit, go on over to his channel. Drop Forward Survival and look at the video 134 piece survival kit and you can see close ups of all the items and how they work and uh, the complete in and outs of the entire kit. See the description below for more details and a Fowler promo code that gets you a kit with a discount. It really didn't take long once I was sitting in front of the fire with the survival blanket around me to warm up and reverse the effects that had started to take place. Two minutes and I was back on track. So uh, I'd say that kit is successful. I'm warming up, my fire's working good, this blanket's keeping my heat in. There's all kinds of other goodies in here. I'm not gonna get to all of them right now. Speed hook for uh, fishing. Uh, 
signal mirror, military line, magnifying glass for starting a fire as well, copper wire, a little knife, band-aids, duct tape, uh, there's the fire starter, and water filtration, and whistle, and uh, the bag that it comes in can boil water. Man, this kit has got everything. I'd say total success. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Fowler out. So I warmed up by the fire for like another 10 minutes before I changed out of my wet clothes. And were that the only pair of clothes I had, I would have wrung them out sooner and put them back on and they would have dried out on me fairly nicely. And that's the importance of having good kit, good clothes that's not cotton. Oh, there's some dry clothes back on. Man, I'm still feeling it. It's like, eh, feel really weird. I don't think I've ever been that cold in my entire life. In the end, it took me about three hours before I fully felt like myself again. I think it goes without saying, but this was very tough and very dangerous. And I do not recommend trying this without a plan, a very solid plan and a very confident self. And I don't even recommend doing this ever again for myself because this was hard and not, it, it wasn't nearly as fun as it looked. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. See you next time. Fowler out again.